Hey there foodies, this is an easy lunch, easy dinner. Corned beef with pasta. We call this bully beef in Jamaica. It is preserved, it is salted, good to go. All you need to do is open this up and the beef is ready, okay? So what we're gonna do is just take this off. We call this the key and we're gonna use that to open up the can. So I just tear off the paper, right? So get the label off, rinse off that uh, can and then use this to open it up. Corned beef is a staple in a lot of Caribbean kitchens. So you'll definitely see this in a lot of cupboards. Over the years, it has gotten a little bit more expensive, but we still buy it because it's so convenient. This is good to go out of the can. You can use this to make sandwiches, but we do like to cook it up a little bit, make it a little bit more flavorful, okay? So just pour that out. And then just crush it. And we're going to cook this up in a pan. All right. I have some oil in a pan over medium heat. I will be cooking some diced onions, some diced bell peppers. You can add tomato if you want to. Sometimes I do. And I'm going to be just stirring this for a little bit. And then I'll go in with some minced garlic. You can add sliced garlic if you prefer. Here goes the garlic right here. Because even though the beef is good to go out of the can, you know how we are as Caribbean people. We like to, you know make things even better right by adding lots of flavor so the garlic is in there all we need to do now is go in with some scotch bonnet pepper you can add a whole scotch bonnet pepper if you prefer i just added some minced scotch bonnet this time and you can add as much as you want then go in with the corned beef so just like minced beef you're gonna just break it up in the pan and allow the fat to melt and break down okay so give the beef some time in the pan even though it is cooked you just want it to you know kind of soak up the flavors of the onions and the peppers and everything and you want that fat to just break down all right so while that's in the pan all you need to do is boil some pasta usually i do macaroni or shell pasta so you can go ahead and boil that while that's boiling check on the beef give it a stir even if you're stirring and it starts to stick that's the good thing about using a non-stick pan you can just give it a stir loosen things up and sometimes when it sticks to the surface of the pan it gets a nice little color to it anyway so i'm adding some fresh minced thyme leaves here and some black pepper of course now if you're not familiar with corned beef this is very salty so you don't need to add any salt okay i'm just gonna go in with some ketchup and sometimes i like to add some scotch bonnet pepper sauce if you have that at home definitely add a few drops if you want to just give this a stir and allow it to just sit there on the stove over low heat add some mixed vegetables you can add the canned ones or the frozen ones, whatever you prefer. But if you don't like that, you can add just corn or leave out the veggies. Then I'm adding some diced scallion, just the green parts of the scallion. Okay, stir this together, give it a taste, add some more ketchup or black pepper if you want to. But that's it. This is a very simple. You don't need to add water. Okay. Then just check on your pasta, drain all the water, and then all you need to do is just toss this with the cooked corned beef. This is one of my favorite easy dinners and easy lunches to make. I love corned beef with white rice, but trust me, the corned beef with pasta, it is so good. Once you stir everything together, you're good to go. This is delicious, guys. If you like hot sauce, put some hot sauce on it. Trust me. So, so delicious. And you know what? A lot of kids like this. So you can give it a try with the kids if they've never had corned beef. All right. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.